guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I just thought about there's gonna be an echo in here. <laughs> Not good. I wanted to film in my bathroom to change the scenery a little bit. I don't know, it's just like, I'm always in my beauty room and I feel like sitting down on the floor, especially with this type of video and just chatting with you guys and showing you the good good on Amazon. Um, today's video is going to be my Amazon favorites. Amazon favorite products. It is a lot that has to do with beauty and um, it helps me out with that. And then there are a couple just like handy items that I'm obsessed with off Amazon. So we're gonna be doing that today. And yeah, I have never done one of these videos, but it was so requested. I think I asked you guys like a couple weeks ago and you guys are like, yes, please. So here we are, we're filming it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video and get started. The first item I have to, this is probably like my strongest recommendation for you guys. <gasps> this is my hair clamper. I have two of them because I thought I left it in New York and then I found it at home under my bathroom sink. <laughs> so I ordered another one. Anyways, the way my hair looks right now today, this is exactly what I use to do it with. It's just like the little hair clamper and I just clip it in and go down and it almost kind of looks like I actually curled my hair whenever I messed them up. Um, and it takes literally such a short amount of time to use this product. So versus curling your hair like this is like and you're done. So I highly, highly recommend it. This one's by Revlon. I'll link everything down below, of course. Yeah, this is like the best. And the other one that I ordered is also by Revlon because I didn't want to try a different one because this is just like works so well for me and it's actually pretty affordable on um, Amazon. Okay, the next item is a little bit random, but if you ever wear your hair like slick back, like sometimes I will slick my hair back and like part it in the middle and do like a tight bun or something. Or even whenever I'm doing the half up, half down and I slick down the front part, this is what I use to wet my hair with. And I got off Amazon and I specifically adore this sprayer versus like the other sprayers because it's like a slow motion mister. Like you can literally, it's so delayed that you can literally mist your hair and like wave it back and forth. Like that was like one spray. Let me try again. I'm like getting soaking wet. Oh wait, I did bad. Like that, you know, it's almost like a Febreze spray or like turns your water into aerosol, but it's not an aerosol. So whenever I'm wetting my hair, I can literally just go back and forth instead of it like squirting my hair. This is amazing sprayer. Even if you're a hairdresser, you might like that. Um, okay, the next item is something that Patrick Tall recommended to me and you guys whenever we collabed. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Of course, I went and got his recommendation. They have different sizes in these. They are the makeup case and they are so incredibly amazing for makeup storage and makeup travel where your makeup is not gonna break because you can literally step on this and it won't go in. And let me show you what the inside looks like. Okay, and you can rearrange these little, they're kind of like a foamy cutout, but you can totally rearrange them in here to make it whatever size. So like eyeshadow palettes, foundation, concealers, and you can even take out all these and just put your makeup brushes or whatever and eyeliners and stuff like that across the top. Now this is the smallest one and I just ordered the smallest to see like just for me traveling my person, personal makeup because I'm not a traveling makeup artist right now. I figured this would be enough for me. Um, and it's perfect. It's literally perfect to hold everything. And so it's like protect your makeup. Like I can't say enough good stuff about it. Like I truly cannot say enough good stuff about it because it's been a dream. I took it with me on some travels this holiday. Also, I think it would be really cute if you would like do patches or add stuff to make it personalize your own, like iron on patches. I don't know. It could be cute. That's all I'm saying. It could be cute. Okay, let's talk about a couple of organization bins. Okay, this is the first one I bought and it's pretty amazing. So I think it's actually meant for kitchen organization, but you can really use them for whatever. So this I have, which you'll see shortly, like in another upcoming video um, that I filmed. I have this under my bathroom sink and I'm able to put like all my sprays, shampoo, conditioners, everything in it and spin to get to them. So I'm not constantly reaching to the back trying to figure out what all is back there. I can just spin it. The most convenient thing to keep like your body stuff in and hair stuff, or you can add stuff from the kitchen. And then this is a really great perfume 
or um, this is a great perfume rack, but it's actually a spice rack on Amazon, but you can use it for whatever, right? You can even put cups of your makeup brushes in here and stuff like that. You can use it for whatever. It's just like a great, really sturdy piece and the swivel on it's really nice and smooth. So it's not gonna jerk your products around, but this is like the best. So I have two of these in my pantry with my spices on it. And then I have one of these in the beauty room, two of them in the beauty room. Ah! I just went crazy ordering them one night. I was like, I'm just gonna order all the organization stuff that they sell, cause I'm pretty. Okie dokie, okay, so the next item I'm really excited about, ooh, I'm excited about. I have to show you in the mirror, which is weird. This mirror is not from Amazon, but I have to show you because I'm using it right now. Guys, you see the mini ring light? Oh, that's a really good shot. And see, it holds your phone, and then it's like this short mini ring light. I think I have to turn it off for you to see. There, now you can see her. Do you see that? This item is genius. It is so freaking handy. I, I can't even, I can't even describe how handy it is. And it's great to make TikToks or if you're a YouTuber, like you can literally just film with your phone in this. You do not have to get a big fancy camera. This is perfection. Or if you're a traveling makeup artist and you need the light, or if you just don't have good lighting in your area while doing your makeup. Like this, like everybody needs this. Even if you're a mechanic and you work at nighttime, like everyone needs this. This thing is so great. It's definitely my favorite product. I don't know, I love everything, but like this is like top three, okay? Top three, it's in there. Like I can't, I truly can't live without. So mini ring light. Yes, and it actually extends really tall too, so it's great for TikToks or like try on or whatever. Okay, I decided to stop being stupid with the mirror and show you guys. Here it is. Ta -da! The only thing I don't like about it is that it's a USB cord plug-in, so you kind of have to have an iPhone cube or some type of cube to plug it in. Okay, we're gonna talk about a few nail polish and, and, and nail art and nail stuff. I watch way too much Family Guy. Okay, so the first item is a gel nail polish set. I bought this gel polish UV light from Amazon and it's great. It's super cheap. I think it's like the cheapest one on there, but I just I just bought it, girl. And it works great, and I've been using it for a long time, so I've been doing my own gel nails. Can you see them? They're like this pretty nude color. I do these myself. I actually enjoy doing it. It's kind of like a hobby for me. It's like very relaxing to do my own gel nails. Um, I find it to be like peaceful and like take anxiety away, especially the more intricate I make my nails. So I recommend doing your own nails. Even if you do like the outcome, it could be something good mentally for you. Anyways, this is the gel nail polish set that I love the most. I've bought several of them off of Amazon, but this is the one's honestly the best. Um, it's called Rosa Lin Lid, Rosa Lid, Lin? I don't know, I'll put it on the screen and I'll put it in, in the description box. But this is their nude set and this is the prettiest group of nail polishes that are nude that I have ever seen in gel polish, like ever. I love every single nude in it and every single nude polish is different. So this is a really good set. So I have on one of the colors right now. Can you see that? And I have little, that's a good, it's like a pretty warm nude. Um, okay, and then what I have on my nails, I bought this little nail kit and it's like just little decals for your nails. And there's, this one's all like moon and stars and then the, this one's all shapes. But you actually get like four of these, I believe, with different stuff. I just have two of them up here because they were out. But the best thing is it comes with the little point. They come with it too, so you don't have to go order this too to add it and you will need these. These decals are so tiny and like intricate. You definitely need the nail decal. So I'm not gonna just sit there for hours and just almost like whenever I have time. Now, as far as gel polish base and top coat, cause you have to put a base on, two layers gel polish, one top coat. I actually purchased my top and base coats separately because I these have just been the best ones I found and I've tried out several of them and this brand has just been like the best. So this is Beatles Top It Off, such a kind of weird name, but this is it, base coat. They come in a set together and these are just the ones that I like the most and they're like 
the smoothest and like they really also painting over the decals they adhere the decals on really well because they give it a really good coat so that's kind of like my nail journey that I don't really don't talk about. I also order like some nail files and different things like that that I can just add in the description box that I like to use because I just ordered everything kind of like, I don't know. I just ordered it. <laughs> I order everything. Okay, moving on. I have another hair tool. Uh, this is the Con Air one and a half inch. So this one's a one and a half inch barrel again. And it's just a very simple, God, I used to use uh, like this brand hair color. It looked just like this, but it was a smaller one in high school. And I'm like, y'all are still kicking it, Conair. So, well, I guess I didn't go to high school that long ago. <laughs> I don't know why I'm acting like it was that long ago, but whatever. Anyways, so this, I specifically with my short hair, use it to curl the ends like this. And that way I get that straight hair and the ends are just flipped out kind of look. And that's like coming back being really popular. So even when I do my hair halfway, half up, I'll just curl it. Or you can do it the other way and curl your ends under. Or this is just great in general for big loose hair curls. <laughs> hair curls. Hair curls. If you have longer hair than me. Okay, um, another beauty favorite. So Tarte actually sent me this fan and I didn't actually buy it off Amazon to be honest. But this fan there's a million of these on Amazon and there's a million different colors and like shapes and fans that are handheld and they come with a little stand. But these are so handy whenever you're doing your makeup because sometimes I get really hot doing my makeup. I don't know if anyone else gets hot when getting ready. This is just like so nice to keep on your desk and cool you off. Um, and it has different settings as well. And then heels. It also makes you Beyonce. A very mild Beyonce. Okay, it doesn't make you Beyonce. This fan is also great for if you apply all your setting spray and you need to dry it off. Like this is so great to do that with. Um, yeah, it's great on Amazon.com. My next item isn't necessarily a beauty item, but this is just an item that I think everybody pretty much needs. This is a planner and no matter what's going on in your life, a planner is a great way to keep yourself focused and on a goal and meeting deadlines for your life as well as keeping up with your busy schedule in general. So this one's great. This is just a standard planner. I like just the standard ones, but if you wanted to sticker it out and decorate it, which I might do, you can do that. Um, but I like it because it has tabs and it has like the month as well as the week. So I can get more detailed in with what's going on in my life. And also I like to write goals for myself. Like I wanna weigh this much at this time by this time. And it's like, you gotta make it to that deadline and treat the deadline really important. Or, you know, I want to have written this much for a TV show by this time. So you're not just like waiting towards the end of the year to create your goal. You're really working on it all year. And having a planner and like seeing that and writing it down physically versus on a computer or phone is a really powerful thing to kind of get you moving on your goal. So I highly recommend a planner. This one's great, got off Amazon. I like plain planners, plain planners, <laughs> plain planner. Okay, you know. Um, this one's for a YouTuber. Are there any YouTubers watching? Okay, this is a, ooh, look at the lighting. Yes. So this is a reflector and I got it off Amazon and it's great. Oh, look at the lighting. Um, there's also a gold, a black side, a white side, a gold side, silver side. And this reflector I got off Amazon. And I just like it because you can get like a really nice warm picture. You can just get it diffused or you can get the silver just to lighten it up, that beautiful glow. Um, so these are great. Amazon is where it's at. Um, if you're into photography or videography in any way, you will need a reflector. So, Amazon. um, these are errands. The last two are errands and ties, not mine, but Ty has been ordering this stuff for years off of Amazon. So this is the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Cleanser and a dermatologist recommended to him to use benzoyl peroxide. Now a few people in the world are allergic to benzoyl peroxide so I would do a patch test like rub a little on your wrist so your whole face doesn't break out if you are. Um, Ty's not allergic to it. It's just a strong ingredient um, and it really helps 
with large pores and acne, healing acne and preventing acne as well. So he uses in the shower and it's best to kind of leave it on a few minutes um, whenever you wash your face. Even if you have back acne, if that stuff is great for back acne too, or like body acne, it's also great for. But um, you just rub it on, you leave it on wherever you put it on for like 10, five minutes in the shower maybe, more like five minutes in the shower. And then you wash it off. And he's, it's really changed his skin, it's really helped him. And he, the only place we can find it is Amazon. Like we can never find this stuff at the drugstore, which is fine because we order off Amazon anyway, so it's easy. Um, but yeah, he's been buying that for years and it's great. The next one is Erin that she wanted to share with you guys. So we got, we actually got these for Erin. These are her little slippers and they are so freaking cute. They have a bazillion colors in them. She got the baby pink ones. And they're just some really comfortable slippers and the bottom of them are like memory foam. But the only downside of these I will say is like whenever you first get them, they're really tight on your feet and um, we had to work them in. They still need to be worked in a little bit, but they're nice. You know, they're good for the price though. So. Okay guys, Erin's modeling the slippers. She doesn't like her toes, so she's not gonna show you her toes. But these are her favorite slippers, aren't they? They're so cute and comfy. Yeah. Look how little they like. <laughs> They're really cute. I highly recommend. And they've been lasting pretty well, huh? Lasting real good. Real good. That's Aaron's throw in. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it from my bathroom. Let me know in the comment section what you think about me filming in the bathroom. I'll have to see what the sound sounds like. I'm sure it's pretty rough. Hopefully this sounds not bad, but thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you watching and I hope this video, you know, helped you on a couple little Amazon favorites. Um, I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.